We were aware during the year 1981 that things didn't seem to be quite right. I just thought, oh, it was a bit of a rough patch and things would sort themselves out. None of us knew how bad things were. Well, can we ask you any questions about uh, what happened to your wife, Lynn? On the second excavation, I located a cardigan in the ground. You just pushed me. Guys, guys, look, it's OK. All we're doing is trying to ask you some questions. From a juice container located about the same depth of the soil, we could determine that the jumper had been in there about the time that Lynn went missing. I would just like to grab him and shake him and say, tell me the truth. We were all completely misread him. He, he was living a, a double life. It was just like a cloak and dagger thing. He just couldn't um, believe that he'd, um, he'd done this sort of thing. Without a body, without knowing, first of all, whether in fact she is dead, without knowing, secondly, if she is dead, how she died. It's very hard to mount a case of a reasonable prospect of conviction just on motive and the undefined existence of means and opportunity. Available now on Video On Demand.